Your morning news continues now on KTRH. KTRH News Time is 821, and joining us right now is Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North. Lieutenant Colonel, welcome to Houston's Morning News, sir. It is great to have you with us. Matt, thank you very much. It's good to be back in Texas because I was born in San Antonio. I uh, I was aware of that, and uh, it's it's great to have you here in Texas. Uh, lots to talk about. I'm I'm looking at the website right now, OliverNorth.com. A lot of great things up on the website. I encourage people to go and take a look. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the the war stories episodes that you will be, you will be doing as it relates to Iraq. You went back and forth what three or four times? Oh no, I've been out there eight eight times total of almost a year on the ground with the American soldiers, sailors, airmen, guardsmen, Marines, starting on the eighteenth of March two thousand three. So eight months and excuse me, eight years and eight months. Wow. Almost a day later, this one hundredth documentary from our documentary unit. Uh, gives a tribute to those remarkable Americans who should have been told by their commander-in-chief, you won, and they did win. Uh, you know, there's a lot of you know, hand-wringing that's going on in Washington and perhaps elsewhere about whether this was a victory or not. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a victory. And you've been there, so you would know. Do you have a problem, or do any of the men and women in Iraq have a problem with this president taking a certain amount of credit uh, for uh, ending this war, yet he voted against the surge, yet he railed against this war every opportunity he got? Well, look, I mean, Washington is famous for revisionist history, so there's going to be a lot of that over the course of the next you know, several years, and particularly in an election year next year. But the bottom line of it is, Young Americans, not politicians, not pundits, not correspondents, but young Americans wearing flak jackets, helmets, flight suits, and combat boots, not only vanquished Saddam Hussein's brutal repressive regime, they also defeated a radical Islamic insurgent movement, both Sunni and Shiite, and they created, by virtue of the example they set for protecting Muslim women and children, they created the only democratically elected representative government that has ever existed in that part of the world. That's got to be a terrifying prospect if you're an Ayatollah in Tehran or you're a brutal despot like Assad in Syria. And it's got to be a real clear message to the folks in places like Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. And I, I look at that and say that would never have happened but for the examples set by these remarkable Americans. And it did cost us you know, 4,475 lives, cost over 32,000 wounded, and they deserve the families of those who lost loved ones, especially. No question about it. Old, they won. That sacrifice was not in vain, and that was, that's why we put this together. Because, you know, we went back and, and found a representative sample of the thousands that I've covered over there over the course of this eight years plus of war, Look. and and we showed how they how they've come back to become productive people in society. And even the dad of a fallen marine who I interviewed literally just. Hours before he was killed, he'd already been wounded, and then he was killed. Wow. I, 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 I look at those kinds of sacrifices, and that, and that dad who's not bitter, but he would sure like to have his son acknowledged as a winner rather than some ambivalent outcome that the administration is putting out there. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North uh, joining us here this morning. And, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, I want to thank you so much uh, for your service to this country, for your service to Americans, and uh, for what you do uh, on Fox News with uh, War Stories with Oliver North. When will this air? When, when are we going to be able to watch it? This will air Sunday night. Uh, you know, it's uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, so 8 p.m. where you all are. And it is a tribute to those who served in Iraq. And it, and it says... Right, right there, clearly, in their words, we won. Americans won this through enormous sacrifice, no doubt about it. No question. Yes, there are things that could be done better and things that should have been and could have been and would have been. But the bottom line of it is, it is safe. this is another part that our colleagues in the media never cover. It is safer to be a civilian in Iraq today than it is to be a civilian in Mexico. Think about that. Lieutenant, right there in Texas, you understand what I'm saying. Well, we sure do. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North uh, joining us here this morning. Listen, I uh, I know we got to let you go. I want to thank you so much for your time here. Certainly, a Merry Christmas to you, sir, and your family from all of us here in Houston. Thank you, Matt, and the same to you. And we sure appreciate it. And don't forget to get to the website, OliverNorth.com, uh, where you can get all the information. And Sunday on Fox, you will be able to see War Stories with Oliver North, a very, very special and moving episode about Operation Iraqi Freedom. Just love that guy.